Silvina Gadges is a new American citizen. Her naturalization ceremony took place on the grounds of Mount Vernon, the home of the first U.S. President George Washington. I have been living here for so many years, so why not be an American citizen? So now my status is settled. Gadges is originally from Portugal and has been living in the United States for more than two decades. This November, she's voting for the first time. I follow politics on radio and TV, and I follow the debates. In fact, I follow the last one on Univision. For me, it is important because I learn what they think about their ideas and what they would do. And experts say these newly eligible voters could play a decisive role in the November presidential election, especially in key swing states. Over 600,000 naturalized citizens live in Georgia, according to the Rock the Naturalized Vote Project, close to 400,000 in Michigan, and nearly 465,000 in Arizona. In a state like Arizona, people who naturalized in the last about eight to nine years, that's considered somewhat recent naturalization, comprise about 2% of the potential electorate. In Arizona, as you will recall, in 2020, was an exceptionally close state. Nationwide, an estimated 3.5 million voting age adults have become citizens since the 2020 election, according to the National Partnership for New Americans. Pastor says naturalized voters tend to become more politically engaged when immigration issues dominate the discourse. That's when the newly naturalized begin to step up and become overwhelmingly engaged because they have a bit of a personal interest in it. Dama Bahati is originally from the Democratic Republic of Congo. I arrived uh, in the U.S. It was on September 6, 2001. And I still remember the time. It was at 3 p.m. In Chicago. <laughs> he became a citizen in 2017. When I finished my interview for citizenship, the staff at the USCIS um, told me, actually, now you can vote. I said, really? And I signed up right away. Experts say naturalized citizens tend to approach their civic responsibility with great seriousness, and these new Americans could be decisive in swing states. Aline Barrows, VOA News, Washington.